everyone, what's going on? We have a new rule filing, SRNSCC 2021-007. Now this is a proposed rule change relating to confidential information, market disruption events, and other changes. So of course we saw this same filing come out from the FICC and the DTC. Uh, much like the wind down and recovery plans, they each kind of fire, filed their own uh, version, but very, very similar. So this was filed June 25th, posted to the NSCC website on July 7th. Still waiting publication on the Fed Register. This is still in the proposal stage. This is the last one to get out. Now we have the FICC, DTC, and now finally the NSCC's version are all out. Uh, we're just waiting for, I believe we're still waiting on this one and DTC and FICC. They're, they're likely going to show up all together uh, right here in the public inspection at some point. But So this is just still the proposal stage. Once we see it show up on the register, we can expect uh, approval or denial uh, 45 days from that day. So the purpose of this, um, we have four major things and it's related to like a cybersecurity narrative. They want to revise certain provisions in the rules relating to the confidentiality of information furnished by participants to NSCC, similar to FICC and DTC. They have to keep all of their confidential information um, and they cannot get that information out to the public or they face severe consequences. Number two, they're going to require that each participant maintain confidential information first by NSCC or, to, or its affiliates in confidence and restrict use and disclosure of such information. So they have to not only keep it safe, but uh, they're going to restrict the use of that information and the disclosure of it. Number three, they're going to add certain officers who are allowed to determine that there is a market disruption event pursuant to Rule 60, which is the force majeure rule. And we'll go, we'll go over that in a second. And then lastly, it's going to add a new Rule 60A to address specific situations in which it is necessary to disconnect a member, a limited member, third-party service provider, or service bureau due to an imminent threat of harm to NSCC. Now, none of that is retail, okay? Members and limited members are like banks, uh, small banks, things like that. So these are the two similar filings, FICC 004 and DTC 011. Um, posted to DTT's website, I think sometime last week or the week before, but same exact title, same exact text, same exact uh, goals. So the changes, they believe it's unnecessarily burdensome to um, have the jurisdiction spread out all over the place. Um, they say rather than maintaining potentially diff uh, different confidentiality standards, they want to consolidate and maintain one confidentiality standard for all participants, making it a lot easier to take action when necessary. The proposed rule change would add the two senior executive officers, the chief of information officer and the head of clearing agency, much like we saw in DTC and FICC. Um, in the event that there's a market disruption event and the board is unable to convene, these two officers will step in and make the, make the call. Now the force majeure rule. So due to the proposed change, the chief information officer and the head of clearing could make such determination of a market disruption event if the board of directors is unable to convene using this rule. Now, what is this rule? It refers to a clause that is included in contracts to remove liability for natural and unavoidable catastrophes MOS, that interrupt the expected course of events and prevent participants from fulfilling obligations. Hmm. Rule 60A, systems disconnect. This is the, the new rule. And this is an example of some members. So. Um, there's quite a bit in there, but, um, yeah, you can go look at, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go take a look at that. So basically this new rule 60A, it's going to address situations in which NSTC determines it is necessary for NSTC to disconnect a single or limited number of members, limited members, or third party service providers or bureaus due to a, uh, cyber threat security or any other event that they feel is a threat to the NSCC. So basically, very similar to what we've seen before out of the other two uh, companies, being the DTC and FICC. They want to consolidate jurisdiction. They want to make sure that all of their confidential information is kept under wraps. They want to ensure that there's two additional appointed officers to make calls in the event of a market event. And then they also wanted to create a systems failure event that if something happens and there's a threat to the NSCC, they can disconnect members at any point in time. So. Crap's heating up. Um, now we have all three of these out for every company. Um, looks to me like very, very much ass covering going on. 
Oh yeah, more ass covering going on. Cybersecurity related narrative, unavoidable event foreshadowed, and limited liability for each major company. Moas sounds like to me. To the moon. We have a couple more to talk about. Talk to y'all later.